Well, here we are. We're just a few short weeks away from it all being the end. And well, this week in indoor football, I gotta tell you, gotta tell you, we, we had some intrigue this week. Not in the NAL, though. Not in the NAL. Um, of course, we know the playoffs are set. We know the four teams that will be in due to other circumstances. Hint, hint Albany and Fayetteville. You know, um, you look at these two games that were played, you see, you see how it's shaken out. You know, like these may be the playoff matchups that we'll be seeing. These same four teams in these same two games in a few weeks in the NAL playoffs. I know Sam Cashman overthrew a pick in this game. But that didn't matter. I mean, he balls out. Jacksonville's defense balls out. The, I mean, the, the, the Sharks are on a different level right now. 9-2, you know, and everything like that. Carolina getting hot with Malik Henry at the right time. You know, similar to how Orlando was hot for a couple weeks. You know, Danny Southwick, Rakeem Cato, I don't know if they're the answer. You know, Orlando, I mean, again, you know, time will really tell if things played out the way they played out. You know, just a little bit differently with all seven teams playing. You know, things probably could have turned out a little bit differently. We'd be talking about, you know, a Fayetteville, an Albany, and an Orlando kind of battling for that fourth spot. But instead, Orlando's kind of just stuck at the fourth spot. So, you know, if Jacksonville faces them one more time in the playoffs, I, I don't know what in the world's going to happen because, I mean, last two weeks have just been brutal for the Predators. Just been brutal. The IFL, everything is set. Everything is set now. We have everything Ready to go. Curtis Riggs, he's going to leave Sioux Falls after this year. Biggest, big surprise being, uh, big surprise, you know, was Billy back, you know, going to Massachusetts to be their co offensive coordinator. You see how that kind of worked out for him in a terribly ref game between Massachusetts and Sioux Falls, in which Sioux Falls was able to get the number two seed somehow by beating. The Pirates, Quad City, got blown up by Tulsa of all teams. Tulsa, 2-13, and 13, had one win on the season. They won their first game at home, you know, this year to end the season. Crazy. Frisco took care of Iowa. It was kind of, eh. uh, you know, two side beat Green Bay. San Diego beat Vegas in the game. That did not matter at all because both these teams were eliminated already. The Bay Area just beat Duke City. In a game that was kind of slow for the most part, but ultimately, again, it, it didn't matter that this game was being played today because everything else got set last night. And uh, Arizona, still dangerous, beat Northern Arizona 55 39. So, you know, he might go to, you know, Riggs might go to Washington. Yeah, I feel like maybe things were rigged for Riggs in certain aspects because, again, Sioux Falls somehow. It's the number two seed, and, you know, Quad City is the four, Mass is the three, and Frisco the one seed in the East. So, you know, there's that. Of course, Green Bay missed out at seven and eight. I mean, it is what it is. Iowa, terrible season, absolutely atrocious season. They've been losing fans, you know, recently. That's what I've been noticing. Like, there's not as many people at the Wells Fargo Arena as there used to be, you know, Tulsa. Their fans showed up. The team was just not, you know, the team was very much competitive, but they just couldn't win games when they were supposed to. Then the West, I mean, for a while it was, for a while it was wild in the West. For a long while it was very wild, but ultimately at the end of the day, we still have the same three teams from last year, you know, plus Bay Area making it to the postseason. Resurgent Bay Area, Arizona under Drew Powell, you know, once he came back into the picture, absolutely tremendous run by the Rattlers. And a lot of people are saying, hey, Rattlers, Rattlers might win the IFL championship this year at this point. You know, Northern Arizona is there. They're there at seven and eight. You know, it is what it is. Tucson also improving Quad City, you know, 
when it comes to Quad City and Mass, and Sioux Falls, and Frisco, they're kind of, they're, you know, like like Quad City has just been kind of on a regression of sorts. Massachusetts as well. Sioux Falls again. Somehow they got the number two seed. Frisco's been kind of cruising along, still kind of struggling, but they've been cruising along to thirteen wins, and now you see that the quarter vials are indeed set. So next Saturday, three games. Quad City. The four seed in the East will take on the number one seed in the East, Frisco at seven, Massachusetts and Sioux Falls. The three seed versus the two seed in the East will be at seven as well. And then Northern Arizona takes on Arizona yet again. So we have two rematches from this past week, and that game will be at eight. And then Tucson Bay Area will be on Sunday at five o'clock uh, Central. I believe that should be five o'clock if I've got my time zones correct and everything like that, because they said 3.05 in Bay Area is out in Pacific time zones, so, you know, two hours ahead over here in Dallas, where I live at. So, you know, Duke City missed out. Kind of kind of unexpected, but if it, it is what it is, that's what you get for doing what you do. San Diego, same thing. Improved. You get what you get, though. Vegas, same thing. You get what you get. Just... It is what it is. Very competitive league in the IFL this year. So the AIFA is technically done. I know there's a game next week. I know. they, they str- Columbus struggled early against Mississippi, but they won 55-10. to 10. You know, it is what it is. I, 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 You all know my thoughts on the AIFA at this point. And then Peach State, they got a game left. Let me move myself over here real quick. They're going to be taking on the United Firepower of course, in their little, um, their little what should we call it, their little soccer plex next Saturday at 3 o'clock, which will be the same time as the NAL game. So, you know, there's that. They, they proclaimed themselves the I-85 champs already. They got this whole uh, Georgia indoor football league thing going on. You know, Peach State is just doing, doing what they do best, which is really just doing what the sport is supposed to do, uplifting and helping players get to the best at the next level of things. So, you know, it is what it is there. All right, the AIF, the American Indoor Football, not the American Indoor Football Alliance, but American Indoor Football. They are back. They're back for 2024, question mark. Uh, they got some partnerships for merch and apparel. They have, you know, some interesting teams that we all know and love as a gnat gets in the way of me. See, the Rapids has been listed as a team in this league. The Corpus Christi Tritons, you know, Corpus Christi has been tried, I believe, before. River City, the Rage, also been tried before. And a fourth unnamed West Virginia team in Wheeling, where we know the Rough Riders were. So, Jocelyn, so Chris Duffy, Josh Resignalo, you know, they're going to be leading the way with that team and they said there's going to be some more investors and stuff and more teams announced this is unexpected again the AIF has been kind of working in the background for like two or three years now to try and get themselves back on track to be a league again but I mean again this league has had a messy history as we all know but there's definitely some teams that could land in this league I personally think you know you know, there could be a Columbus, there could be a West Mitch because those two teams played in this league in 2016. And then the AFL, oh boy, oh boy, the AFL, the Arena Football League, oh my gosh, they're saying they have something on July the 18th. They got people all hyped up. I don't know what it's going to be. At. Will it be something tangible because they waited entirely too long, you know, we're it, we're getting into that point where we're talking about playoffs. We're talking about playoffs. We're talking about championships. The AFL wants to come in with this announcement. So um, there's there's also this Blue Canary Capital thing, which is like NFT crypto stuff. You know how that worked with the FCF. That's why that league is basically dead. And that's why that whole project is basically dead. You know. So we'll see what the AFL actually has to announce. I really, I really could care less unless it's something tangible at the moment because I, I just, I just, 
I think everybody has. I think everybody else in this community has agreed that unless you show something tangible, it's probably not going to happen. You know, I mean, I hope it does. You know, just for the sake of it. But if it doesn't, I mean, no, no, skid off my back because we're trudging along with the other leagues. So all the tier three leagues, they're done. It's just you know, two of the big three tier two leagues, and then. This supposed tier one league that's like trying to pay players twenty eight thousand dollars, you know, a season. You know, this AFL three point oh trying to come on back and do its thing. I I don't know, guys. I don't know, guys. We'll see. We'll see. But at the end of the day, um, that's gonna do it. I'll see you all Monday. Uh, yeah, sometime on Monday morning. Or rather, it'll be a video that premieres on Monday morning, talking some lacrosse and everything like that. And then next Saturday, I'm going to be doing something for my nephew. Uh, but I will be doing something before then. Uh, just stay tuned for that. You know, we'll see what that is. You know, or rather, you will see what that is next Saturday. And then next Sunday, we'll talk the IFL quarterfinals, the, the final in the second to last regular season weekend of the NAL and everything like that, you know, AFL announcements, and Peach State again, and everything like that. So, you know, everything is coming down the pipe as we are getting closer and closer to August 12th. And as we get closer and closer to the end of season three of this week in indoor football and the end of not just the IFL season, but the NAL season as well. So with that being said, I'll see you all tomorrow. And y'all take care. Have a good night. And be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to Big Boy Sports. Peace.